Hey, March 19, 2018, how you doing? Good morning. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, sole plaintiff in Conti vs. DSMY, currently on appeal, waiting for an answer from the big judges. 101058-2016, case number. So, I want to... Uh, Yesterday was fun. I was chasing Russians in, in, in Little Russia in Brooklyn. <laughs> Couldn't find anybody to really say, you know, uh, I'm offended. I'm offended, you know, the American thing. I'm offended by, by CNN saying Russians are, Russians are hacks. Russians hacked the election. Huh? Couldn't find anybody that said they were offended by it, right? But it was fun to, to ask them. <clears throat> it seems like a lot of them are, they're Americans, right? <laughs> Once you're here, you, you, you're, subject, you're subject to the same nonsense. The other thing I forgot to mention yesterday was that when I was running around chasing Russians, uh, Vladimir Putin, they were actually having the presidential election, which is heavily rigged in Russia, right? He won like 70% of the ballot, 70% of the vote. People there, all the Russians, they, they're used to that shit. We're not, see, we're not used to election fraud. We're not, we're not used to you know, ballots being stuffed and other ballots disappearing and, you know, we're, we're supposed to be a, a, you know, a nation of law, like, we're supposed to be, but none of that's true anymore. So I want to talk about what, uh, something, Jared Beck, ah, uh, Jared Beck, who's Jared Beck? Jared Beck is the, uh, lawyer in the DNC fraud lawsuit. Now, Jared and his wife Elizabeth have placed themselves in the in the, the, the hot pot of uh, political controversy, right? Right. He's just he's he's a lawyer, and he was a Bernie Sanders supporter, and he was he saw the corruption, he saw the you know the the, the, the DNC how they rigged the election with Wasserman Schultz, and that there were no consequences to any of it. And he coined the he coined the term. I don't know if he knows he coined it, but I'll, I'll, I'll uh, elaborate on it. Glorious hope. Ah. Glorious hope. Remember Obama? Hope! Hope! <laughs> hope for a new day. Hope that we will be better tomorrow. Remember that? Remember Obama and hope? Hope is a four-letter word, right? Hope is a hope is a slur because when you're hoping, when you sit around hoping, right? Hope. I hope this happens. I hope that happens, right? Hope is a fiction of our imagination because it hasn't happened yet. It's in the future. Right? The future hasn't transpired yet. All that matters. All that is real is the moment and how we affect that moment. You can't change the past. You can't affect the future. You can by taking positive steps now. Right? Right. But hope sitting around and what what Jared was talking about is very specific. He was saying that he, he's laughing at all the all the uh, the indie news people and all of the you know the the old progressives all sitting around waiting for Hillary Clinton to get thrown in jail, right? Now, McCabe getting fired, not so much that he was fired, but what, what the, uh, what his, his supervisors, I'm sorry if the wind is blowing, what his supervisors actually wrote down is very, 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 very important, very interesting, in that they were basically saying that, and more is going to come out, but they were basically saying he's a liar and a cheater and he supported the Clinton and all that stuff. So, that's important, but we'll, but as you saw, Congress can, <laughs> my eyes are watering. Congressman uh, took a, um, they already rehired him, McCabe, right? They already rehired him. I just stepped out to a really windy place. I'm so sorry. But I have to get where I have to go, right? 
But anyway, Glorious Hope is sitting around waiting for the criminals to arrest each other. It ain't gonna happen, right? And if it does happen, excuse me, <laughs> so what, right? The Democratic Party is currently running 54 candidates in 44 congressional districts that all have intelligence backgrounds. They're either, they were either former CIA, FBI, or they had military backgrounds, like Tulsi Gabbard, right? All these people, now what happens when shit hits the fan? Those are the first people that fall in line and follow others, right? Right? That's a, that's a coup. See, the, the Russia bullshit narrative failed, right? It failed. But Glorious Hope is sitting around waiting, waiting for the criminals to arrest each other. That's not going to happen. You have to keep moving. If Bernie Sanders had said anything accurate, it starts to make sense, right? It does start making sense. You don't sit around waiting for them to arrest themselves. You stay, you stay, you stay moving. You keep moving forward. You keep telling the truth until enough people listen. And you hit the tipping point, right? So that's all. I hope that wasn't... I, the, the wind and the the wind lately the wind and the the noise just follows me. I'll have more to say about that later. Peace out.